In this video, we will help you to set up invoices, establish labor tax rates and part tax rates, specify it by your country or state, and talk about information contained in the invoice. Please note, not everything described in this video is applicable for all invoice types. Not all of the fields mentioned in this video are used in the printed invoice format. Let's begin with the settings. To set up invoices, go to Configuration, then go to Financial, select Invoice Settings. The Invoice Settings section opens up. Here you can choose an invoice template suitable for you and your workshop. Each invoice template contains all necessary information. Further in this video, we will discuss types of information contained in the invoice. To select the invoice you need, simply click on it. The selected invoice will be framed in blue. Before selecting the necessary invoice, you can preview it by pressing this button. Let's go to any repair order and check the invoice we selected. Now, let's go to Quoted and Repair Orders. Select Repair Order. Select Open Invoice in the Repair Order under Invoice submenu. We can see the invoice in the PDF format the one that we selected in the settings. But it is totally empty. Let's see what we can add to it. Click on Settings and select Invoice Settings. This is Invoice Settings. This is how we get to the Invoice Settings. We already know that we have several types of invoice templates. Let's see how we can use the settings. What we see first is Manage info from previous repairs. Before creating a new repair, you can select the following actions from the settings. Copy previous rejected items and copy previous opened concerns. Select the required action by clicking this button. This function is very useful and convenient. If your customer rejects the parts that he does not want to replace at the moment, then at the next visit to your workshop and when creating a new repair order for this vehicle, all rejected items will be copied into a new order. It is the most important that all information from requests for repair and concerns is cross-linked and added to the orders. There are several ways to do this. You can either press this button and select the way you want to create a link, or simply move the needed request from requests for repair and concerns, and it will be mapped in orders. You can also delete requests. You can watch our video on how to work with repair orders to learn how it works. All information about requests for repair and concerns will be added to the invoice when you print it out or send it to the email. The following settings are settings for nodes in repair. These settings help turn on or turn off the repaired nodes by default. We can also turn them on or off in the repair order itself. Let's see how this works. We will write a note for the current repair and see how it reflects in our invoice. The crossed I symbol indicates that the notes will not be shown in the invoice. 
To activate the eye, click on it and the notes will become visible in the invoice. As a reminder, if you want to hide the notes by default, you can disable them in the settings. Then the notes will not be shown in the invoices by default. You can also select the currency type appropriate for your country. You can set tax rates for labor and spare parts in accordance with your country or state regulations. Select and enable the needed parameter. Here are the tax rates before and after the discount. Email option settings will help you choose and send the invoice to the customer with an attachment or notification by email to let the customer know that he or she can see the invoice in the customer application. The quote will be removed when you select the number of days under Quote Lifetime Settings. The invoice will be removed within the period selected in the settings. Footerprim and footerstatic text settings are designed mostly for the first invoice template. The margins are intended for adding additional information, such as, for example, company's policy or vehicle repair regulations, or for signing the vehicle's repair agreement. For instance, the text that the workshop accepts the vehicle for repair and that the customer agrees with our company's terms and regulations can be added to the footer prim. In the footer static text, we can add the agreement statement about vehicle's estimate not to exceed the earlier specified amount. Now let's see how this looks in the invoice. Go to the required repair order, open the invoice and you will see the rules that we have been adding in the settings. Now let's see what the invoice contains. The quote status is shown in the upper right corner of the invoice when creating a new invoice for repair. After you conducted the inspection and added the necessary parts, you can send the quote to your customer to confirm. After the customer confirms the quote, the order status changes to invoice. The invoice contains information about your customer, such as customer's name and last name, phone number, customer's company registration address or home address, information about the vehicle such as VIN code, vehicle's license plate, vehicle's brand, and mileage on odometer is also available. Payment method selected for vehicle repair will be reflected in the repair order. There are several ways to send the invoice. To send and print out the invoice, click on the invoice button and select how you want to send the invoice. You can send an invoice to your customer by email, or you can send the invoice to your own email address. You can open the invoice for printing, or open the job card where the work process is reflected. This is all we wanted to tell you about in this video. Thank you for watching the review of our customer's web portal. If you think this video is useful, please like it and subscribe to view other videos and stay updated.